Hi, um, as you can tell, I cut my hair. I actually really like it. Um, I think I like, I look cool in short hair. With short hair. Um, I didn't really know what to do ASMR wise. I, I do have a couple ideas about this, like how to paint thing where it has like the numbers of like, you know, that painting with like the pearl earring. And I feel like that'd be cool ASMR and I'm doing it out, actually like outside with the sun with the green nature <laughs> um and i also thought of doing origami because i can do origami or this one is a little bit more like mm, maybe i could do it is like hair cutting but the hair is newspaper genius i'm getting that <laughs> there's many different like hair cutting but your hair is like water sand gold so i decided I have this box, jewelry, jewelry that I have made, some jewelry that I've gotten, uh, like presents, and so I thought, why not just go through them, you know, I feel like it'd be fun. There's even things that are not jewelry, like this little guy is in here for some reason, or I've got fake tattoos I haven't gotten so or I saw a straw got to have Disney I haven't used it because there's no really <laughs> it's a little a little thing so let's start with things that I have made I made this this little like mermaid mold it was the first prototype so it looks a little just don't look from it from the back or <laughs> look from it from the front but yeah it's two little um mermaid tails They look pretty. And then this one also don't look in the back <laughs> is wings. These were like trial and error, like making them look good from the back and but I didn't continue doing them. I don't know why. I just was like, eh. These were not made by me. I think they were made by my mom. <laughs> my mom makes a lot of, like, she paints and she makes jewelry. She even made, like, this, um, horse. Like, an actual horse. Not an actual horse. But, um, <gasps> pretty much just in clay i think that's the material this one not made i'm pretty sure it's not made at least by me <laughs> they're like little i'm not even moving them they're just continuously moving you move them once and then they just keep on going kind of like teardrops or leaves. Just keep dancing. Now I don't know what's in here. It's little. Oh, now I know what's in here. I'm not gonna take it out. Can you see? It's so Mandeojo is a thing in a lot of different cultures. Um, but in my culture, you use like a little, you can see it, right? You, you probably, I don't, I don't know what my other bracelet is, but if you're, you're told that if you're wearing a bracelet or a necklace and it breaks, that means it worked against whatever, you know, and you're supposed to just not use it. And I always keep it in here because mine just broke. 
out of nowhere one day. And I do believe in it. It's very cute. Oh my god, it's a sharpener. It's a sharpener. No. I think it's a sharpener. I had no idea. I mean, I would never use it as a sharpener, but... Now these are... Okay, so I made these. This one is made. But these were gifts from my mom. I tend to keep them in their, like, normal average packaging because I feel like that's safer. They won't fall. I have this. I guess it's a necklace that I just did not get the, like, they just gifted the neck thing but not the necklace but this I made I made this again no judgment <laughs> I made them first ones I've ever made so look they look it's like a, my, they're my eyeballs But yeah, I enjoyed making jewelry when I was into making jewelry. This one wasn't made by me. It was gifted to me. A little necklace. Obviously, the fake tattoos that I have. This was recently given by my mom to me. I haven't worn them. I actually kind of want to try them out. At least one. The thing is, it has these backings. I don't know if you can tell. But they're kind of hard to put in, like, to close it. I'm going to see if I can... Yeah, they're cute. They're kind of <laughs> big, but but they're very pretty. I also like the color. Don't really have a lot of this type of blue. I was also gifted this with it. But I don't normally wear. Oh, I almost. I don't normally wear. It's like a little petal, a little Irish clover. Is it the lucky clover or just a normal clover? I don't really remember. But yeah, it's also blue. And now I'm moving on to ones that I've made. I made this choker. Have not done the finishing parts of it. This was gifted to me. It's a little choker. It's the Star of David. And I hope I didn't make a mistake. Then wouldn't it be funny if I was <laughs> also made by me? I also have a bag of like different like not like stones of like amethysts and rubies or whatever but I feel like that'd be cool. Also made this one. I just need to get the backings and then just put them on. It's very lightweight. Also made by me. Also, this one does have the backings. 
but it's too big. <laughs> but yeah. It's just it's a very tedious, um, you know, to get it all right. And sometimes the yarn is just too, you know, it's just wasn't made by me. <laughs> I wish it fit better, but it's a little bit too big, but it's, it's cute. It's cute. This one, the, obviously, I did not make the s dragon. I almost said snake. But I did make this part. It's a cute dragon. It's gold color and has like tiny, tiny, tiny little stones. I made this and I'm pretty sure I made this as like, yeah. Just gotta just make it up as you go. I should sell these. They're just in my possession. I also made this one. This one does have the backing and everything. I really like that one made a neck, a bracelet, normal bracelet. This one is also uh, a bracelet. This one I made as well. So just, you know, very stone oriented. As I was saying, a <laughs> uh, stone. This one obviously is designed different. This one, as you can see, the stone is visible on either side. This one, the stone is only visible on one side, and it's sitting on top of it. It was just a design choice, mostly because um, I don't remember why, <laughs> but it was a choice that I made. This one obviously didn't make it. It's pretty old. I've had it for a while. Sometimes I don't really use, I just, it's just like nostalgia. Made this. I don't really make these anymore because the, the, the string, I don't know. I don't know. I just, hmm. this one was gift. I mean, this one, as you can tell again, the backing, but look at how the backing looks at the back. This is the back of it and this is the front. So it just sits like right there. This one, I'm pretty sure this was when I was a kid. This one was made by my mom. So. I'm not getting it correctly. There. You know, it's two in one. This one was not made by me, but I like them. I was gonna get uh, one that had like this, but it's flat and had like flowers, and they were selling them. And it wasn't that expensive, but the ends, it was burnt, but the, 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 the material was white, so it was just the burn mark, it was just, it was not good. I was like, ah. This one also gifted by my mom. The thing is, this material sometimes, if it, you don't keep it well, it just doesn't, uh, also made this one. It was basically just a show and tell. I mean, <laughs> and this tiny one, don't ask me. I think I messed up and now it's super tiny. And I, I don't really know for what purpose. I don't know who would fit here, maybe a toddler, but. So, I mean, these are all necklaces that I've made, bought, been gifted. 
I have more. <laughs> Sorry, that was really Pretty loud. I'm gonna put you back in here since this seems to be your new place. These are just hoops that I had. I don't really wear hoops anymore, mostly because I developed this fear of someone ripping my hoop by accident. And then, <laughs> or you know how you can. This sorry, that's not very relaxing. This is. <laughs> I'm like, here is my relaxing voice, and here is my fear. No. Sorry, sorry, sorry. But, look at this little, this little dude. This little man. Ria Kahlo. Frida Kahlo. Frida Kahlo. It says, is it botanical Frida? I was told when I was a kid. That I had Frida Kahlo eyebrows, which basically meant that I had a eyebrow. <laughs> and kids would bully me for it, and my mom would be like, But your eyes are like Frida Kahlo. And I didn't really get that because I didn't know who she was. And then obviously, years later, I was like, Oh, that's nice. Kids were not nice, but. You know. And it is organized to perfection. I don't really have anything. Oh. I'm kidding, I do. Hold on, more show and tell. This was a gift. So I'm gonna show you two things. Gift, well, gifted to me in a way. Hold on. Okay. So, <laughs> I go to class with my mom sometimes. And this older lady, um, she does like felt or felt. Just look at it. I complimented her and I told my mom, hey, you, you should make me one. And my mom, she takes really long time to make me like, because she does so, has so many projects. But the lady, she made me one. I didn't even ask her. She just made, like, look at it. I almost said moo. This, this, these don't make moo noises, but isn't it so cute? I feel like I just kind of just keep it. Like if I could just. That's not gonna work. But so that was one. I got gifted this. She went to some place in Europe. Do not ask me where. Well, wherever tulips are known for, Amsterdam. I think it was Amsterdam. I do not know if it works. Oh my god, it does. It does work, but I have a notebook. But I was also gifted from my sister. So let's just write a little... Oh, I, I had written in here. Let's write. What day is today? November. Um, let's do it this side, I guess. November. Hmm. What day is today? I don't know. Let's leave the November because I don't really know. No, but <laughs> November. So this still works perfectly. Then I was gift. I was not gifted this. I made this in origami. See, I made it in origami class. So I feel like my expertise. Oh wait, I already showed this before. I made this as well. The boxes I don't really like. I'm not that interested in making boxes. I was gifted this by my parents. Uh, they went with my sister, and I couldn't go because I had class. So. A little octopus. Look at his eyeball. Just staring. And the material is so soft. And it is. Did 
does not say what material it is. It says, did you know the octopus has three hearts? We all knew this. <laughs> Two are used for pumping blood through the gills, and the third pumps the pale blue blood of the octopus through the rest of the body. Sabías que los pulpos tienen tres corazones, utilizan dos para bombear corazón a las branquias, mientras el tercer bombea su sangre azul al resto del cuerpo. Uh, do not speak these other two languages. Les vos la primera. I do not speak French. I do not. Wild Republic is dedicated to fostering curiosity about wildlife and educating children about the wonders of nature. It is filled with, we strive for eco-friendliness, filled with 100% recycled water bottles. So, this is recyclable, made from recyclables. So cool. Oh, wait, it says right here what it's made of. It is made in the Republic, Wild Republic Europe. I don't know what that is. Oh, wait, that's the, co that's the company. Made in China. It is polyester. This was gifted from my mom. She made it. Now, it wasn't originally for me, but I asked her if I could keep it, and so it's mine now. <laughs> it's kind of observing you. Um, First class ASMR, remember, right? <laughs> I was gifted this mushroom. As you can tell, I really loved um, plushies. I was gifted this mushroom, also by my parents. Look at the rouge. Look at the rouge. It's a mushroom. You gotta do it softly. Mushroom. And then, also gifted by my parents, Mr. Ice Cream Man. I love how they started off with, I'm going to show you my Julie, and it just turned into this. <laughs> I don't even know if this is good ASMR. Is this good ASMR? Maybe if I just like... You know what I wanted to do was also, that I did a while back, ASMR of reading HP Lovecraft, but also like outside. So like the ambiance. Can you even hear that? So, I'm like those kids when they first meet cats and they're like, what? <laughs> but yeah, those are things gifted to me that I have. Oh, there's this tag from Miniso. Mushroom plush toy made in China as well. And it is also polyester and also, another material that I don't know what it says. Elast elasto? Elast something. <gasps> oh my god, he almost fell. But yeah, I also have, for some reason, overlooking my table where you're sitting at is this guy. Also a gift, but for my. Actually, maybe just also from my parents. It says, his name is Daffodil. Any day that you find is dreary. Just cuddle with me and I'll make it cheery. Birthday, April 15th. Remember that couple who had like 30,000 beanie babies and they divorced and they had to like separate the beanie babies? Imagine that being you. But he has giant eyeballs. <laughs> I don't think I can put him back where he was just yet. But yeah. This video is kind of just everything. Me also with my short hair. I don't want to really, like, you know, touch it that much since I got it straightened. Um, I didn't really ask for it. She was like, she just straighten my hair but she did it with such force that i genuinely was concerned that she was gonna burn my scalp and one second i felt the straightener the hot part on my scalp and i was like oh my gosh but 
I will probably keep this length for a while. I like it. I like it. You know, I think I'm one of those people who I believe that hair has a lot of energy. I know some people are rolling their eyes because they're like, what is she talking about? But I felt like my hair just didn't have... It had a lot of heavy energy because I had a lot of, a lot of emotions. So by cutting it off, I felt like I'm starting a new, a new me, more fresh. No, not a new me, just fresh, fresher. So I got nothing else. <laughs> I've got those ASMRs that I want to film, and I'm almost done with this semester. So now I can get to it. <laughs>